Find the discontinuities and identify whether they are removable or non-removable. So this is a trig function and it should have asymptotes. And so we know that asymptotes, vertical ones, are always non-removable. So all we have to do in this problem is find uh, the asymptotes. So recall that tangent uh, can be written as sine over cosine. So here it will be sine of pi x over 2 divided by cosine of pi x over 2. And so we're looking for the vertical asymptotes. In other words, we're looking for where this function uh, is undefined. So it's undefined whenever cosine of pi x over 2 is equal to 0, right? Because the bottom needs to be 0 for this thing to be undefined. Again, we're looking for discontinuities, and that's going to happen when we have asymptotes. And that happens when this is undefined. So whenever the bottom is 0. So now you have to use some stuff from somewhere else. So if you have the cosine of x and that's equal to 0, this is equivalent to, this double arrow means equivalent, so whatever is written on the left is the same as what's written here, as saying x equals pi over 2 plus k pi, where k is an integer, so where k is an integer, so is an integer. So in this problem, we don't have cosine of x, we have cosine of this. So all you do is you take this, this is your x, you see, that's your x, and you set it equal to pi over 2 plus k pi. So you have pi x over 2 equals pi over 2 plus k pi. All right, so all we have to do now is solve for x. So we have pi x over 2, so what we can do is multiply by the reciprocal. So this is 2 over pi, and I'll put a parenthesis here, 2 over pi. These cancel, so we get x equals, let's work out the math. So pi over 2 times 2 over pi, I'm going to show every step. So pi over 2 times 2 over pi. Plus, and you can skip steps, it's just sometimes mistakes happen. So k pi and then 2 over pi. These cancel, and so we get x equals 1. These cancel, and so we get plus 2k, where k is an integer. So where k is an integer. And so these are the discontinuities, and I think I already said it, but I'll write it down. They are all non-removable, right? Vertical asymptotes are always non-removable. If you're wondering how we know they're vertical asymptotes, it's because it's the tangent function, right? If you remember tangent of x has a bunch of vertical asymptotes like this, right? It has infinitely many vertical asymptotes. So, so we know this one will also have infinitely many vertical asymptotes. I hope this video has been helpful.